Daughter suddenly passes. Mom finds secret letter in her room and is stunned by its content. I'm going to miss the bus, Mom, 12-year-old Taylor Smith shouted as she shoved her textbook into her backpack and quickly tied her long brown hair in a ponytail. In the meantime, her mother, Mary, was occupied with cooking breakfast. As soon as two crispy golden slices of bread pumped out of the toaster, Mary carefully placed them next to a fried egg on a plate. Breakfast is ready, honey, she called out and watched her daughter munching on the food. This was Mary's favorite part of the day. She has been working two jobs to provide for her family and wasn't able to spend a lot of time with her daughter. Those 15 minutes of having breakfast with Taylor were precious to her. After finishing her breakfast, Taylor rushed out the door to catch the school bus. Mary's heart was filled with joy as she watched her daughter wave to her and smile. She felt so grateful to be able to experience such a beautiful thing as motherhood. The Smiths were known as one of the most loving, happy families in their small town. Many people were jealous of the bond and love that they shared and wished to have a family like theirs. One day, Taylor woke up with a minor flu and cough. Her parents didn't think much of it at first, as her symptoms weren't that worrisome. Taylor still had her appetite and energy. She usually got sick a few times a year and was able to fight the flu in about a week or so without having to go to the doctor. But this time was different. For some reason, she wasn't feeling any better. Taylor's symptoms didn't improve after a week and a half, which was quite unusual in her case. Her parents started to worry and decided to make an appointment with her family doctor. Still, they were convinced it was nothing more than a minor flu. However, the doctor seemed slightly concerned after hearing about her persistent symptoms. The 12-year-old wasn't responding to the usual treatment, so he advised her parents to take her to a specialized pulmonologist. Taylor was diagnosed with pneumonia and spent months undergoing the necessary treatment. Unfortunately, she wasn't responding to it. Each day, her condition kept getting worse and worse. The little girl showed no signs of improvement, which worried her parents a lot. She didn't have an appetite and slept the whole day. At some point, her fever got so high that she wasn't able to speak. Taylor was covered in sweat and was constantly shivering, and nothing seemed to be working. Her parents slept next to her in the hospital room every night for almost a month. Despite all their treatments, the little girl wasn't getting any better. Her parents, relatives, and friends prayed for her recovery, and soon, the entire town joined them. Everyone in her town and school loved her. She was the kind of person who would put a smile on people's faces and brighten everyone's mood. Not only was she confident and smart, but also loving and caring. People described her as sunshine in a human form. The whole town was devastated upon hearing the bad news and prayed for her fast recovery. Sadly, things were about to get even worse. On January 5th, 2014, Taylor passed away after fighting the disease until her last breath for more than three months. Her parents were in complete shock and dismay. They felt like a part of their soul was taken with their daughter. Losing a child is the hardest, most heartbreaking thing one can experience in their lifetime. Taylor's parents held on to even the smallest things that reminded them of her. They didn't care about how insignificant or unordinary those items were because each of those things reminded them of their beloved daughter. While going through her belongings, they felt like she was there with them. But everything changed when they found a strange letter in her room. It took Taylor's mom a few minutes to calm down before opening her daughter's bedroom door for the first time since her passing. Tears started falling down her face as she looked at numerous pictures of Taylor hanging on the walls. All of her clothes and toys were still in their same spot where Taylor had left them. It's been a year since she had passed, and no one had touched her room. As her mother opened the door, the memories of the time spent with Taylor came flooding back. It was an emotional moment for the whole family, but they knew they had to go into her room eventually. As Taylor's mother opened her closet and hugged her clothes, she noticed a piece of paper lying on the top shelf. She was looking at a thin envelope with handwritten letters on it, to be opened by Taylor Smith on April 13th, 2023 only, unless said otherwise. Taylor wrote a letter to herself, which she, unfortunately, will never be able to read. As the parents opened her letter and began reading, they could hear her soft voice as if she was there next to them. They couldn't fight their tears as they read the first sentence. It has been 10 years since I wrote this. First of all, I'm so proud of you for graduating high school, the letter said. Taylor talked about all of her goals, dreams, and aspirations in her letter. She also mentioned how much of it she expects to accomplish by the time she would turn 22 years old. It was indeed an inspiring, beautiful letter. It gave so much peace of mind to everyone who got the chance to read it. Even though Taylor is no longer alive, she left a piece of her heart in her letter.